It's always a fantastic opportunity when you have a really iconic uh, fairy tale to work with, particularly one that's not actually done as much for Panto as this one, but obviously people are very familiar with the story um, and there's been some very big versions of it, I guess. Um, so what I suppose we were trying to do, uh, and one of the first things I do is uh, have a chat with Phil as the director and get a kind of overview of what his vision is going to be, where the funnies are, what the scene structure is going to be like, um, and, and just sort of look at the whole kind of body, which was a, actually quite a hilarious long conversation. <laughs> <It's always laughs> long. And one of the great things actually was, we, obviously the, the story itself is um, set in France, so actually one of the first things you want to do is nail some sort of theme that will give you a, a starting point. And um, the Eiffel Tower seemed to us one of the great things, thinking about Paris, the first moment might be opening in Paris, um, what could we use? So the Eiffel Tower came up and actually that's given us a really good marker for actually thinking about how we can actually shape the whole panto. So that's really big actually this year, that's going to work quite well I hope. Beauty of the Beast is so well known through Disney and through uh, their story, so they have different characters, which are obviously we can't use and kind of don't want to use, we want to keep that panto feel. So there's different characters which some people might compare to the ones from the film. Um, so obviously we have our beast, that's fine, and we have Belle, that's the same, but we don't have the teacup, we don't have the, the uh, candlestick. Uh, we we have a dame, so we have to go through that, and that's where it starts to change the story of so slightly. It's a really it's a real challenge of panto because yeah. on one level you've got the tradition and you're trying to retain, and you know every theatre has its specific things that it wants to keep in and that they're really you know passionate about. Um, but then as a designer you want to always bring something you know, about, you, you know, about you and actually what you want to bring. But the great thing is working together through these things as the characters evolve, you can sort of spar over sort of where you put the fun is and what you bring to it in terms of shapes. And the it? set as well, uh, it's not the first time that me and Helen have worked together and what's nice is we can push each other. So I will always ask for the impossible and nine times out of ten Helen makes that happen which is great, but I'll always ask, because if you don't ask, you don't get. And <laughs> what's lovely is we've got to the point now where all I'll say is, I've had an idea. And I'll bear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it worked, and, and what's lovely this year, again, it's a different script, but it's a different set, and it's doing different things. Yeah. And the bits of wood that are painted are doing more this year than in previous years, which just adds more and more and more and you've got to keep it fresh you've got to keep you've got to keep the tradition but you've got to change it enough that the people will keep coming back yeah. what's beautiful is this year we we go to a we go to a lot of places and i really hope this year that every time the cloth flies out people go whoa because <laughs> um, that's what we want we want that you read a book when you're a kid and you can't wait to turn the page. And, yeah. I, and, and that's yeah, what that's we've got. Yeah, that's been a big part of it, hasn't it? And that's what we want with this. It's the best one we've done. As a, as yeah, a team. I think so. I think we've really, we've really hit the mark. I think yeah. We're, we're, um, yeah. I think we're pushing the boundaries, you know, the limits of what we can do. We're, we keep pushing them and we keep doing new more and more things. And yeah, if, it, if, we, if we didn't show it everyone else, if we hadn't, like it wouldn't be there if, it, if we didn't like it. So yeah, ecstatic.